Here we go! Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the newest version of the 2 to 1 scale viewing from the Republic. This was seen in episode 3 and also in the Clone Wars very briefly and most recently been seen in the Bad Batch but with a uh, different colour scheme. Today's version is going to be the Republic one specifically but you can easily colour swap this if you just change the majority of these red bits for grey. Um, there is slight problems when it comes to things like the snow layers because there's no grey layers like that but um, I'm sure you can find a way around it. It might just detract from the look a little bit. But for all it's worth, yeah, this is purely just the Republic model in my eyes um, until someone goes ahead and converts it. So in terms of differences from the last model, I covered this in the World Showcase I think that I did recently. Uh, the old model had a very enlarged front section and then the back was quite short. Whereas in reality, the back half is pretty much around the same size as the front half here. And talking in halves, I basically cut it off at this point here where the uh, the, the guards, I guess, are on the top. And I'm not sure of all the specific names of each part, sorry about that. But yeah, you've got the engines on the back. And again, same problem as with the last one where the engines just are a bit too far apart. There wasn't really anything I could do about that. Um, without making them look a bit silly um, but the the effect of this is that that top engine should be like a quite a bit further down probably about half a block further down um, and the other major thing I would say uh, that isn't quite right but you can't really tell so this is the wing um, kind of connector I suppose this red bit here um, ideally this block here would be right in the center of it but with it being a two by two you just cannot get that um at all not that i know of anyway so it has to be offset um, not only to the side by one but also up by one but when you look at it just like this you know you really can't tell um if i hadn't mentioned it you probably wouldn't have noticed but i just wanted to mention just in case anyone did so yeah let's get into the build we will probably just do the layers um of the body like this one two three four five um, and then do the wing separately because they are just very thin. And that is another thing with the old V-Wing. I can't remember what I did in the tutorial, but it definitely wasn't wasn't like this. Um, so yeah, let's crack on with it. Okay, so layer number one is quite simple. Um, we're actually going to do the body first. I think I mentioned that in the intro. Um, and then we'll move on and do the wings afterwards. Take a temporary block. I'm going to use red wall. Uh, you also need quartz slab, crimson trapdoor, iron trapdoor, and lever. Uh, so we need to build this up in the air a little bit, so we're going to do four of these and then we want to do a fifth one, one to the side and knock that one out and then this is going to be a quartz slab just here. Uh, the front of the build is going to be that green line there, so just uh, make sure you stay on the track with that. We're then also going to take a polished diorite real quick and we're going to put that uh, just one here and one here as well. I know that's technically on the second layer, the reason being is because we're going to use that lever that I just threw away and that's going to go underneath and flip it. It just adds a little bit more roundness to the bottom of the ship, which uh, it, it does really need. So, there we go. Can knock this one out, put a iron trap door just there, and take the temporary block again, and do one, two, three, four. Iron trap door here. Oh, there goes my voice. Uh, do an extra one here as well, and there. Uh, and then this is going to be a crimson trap door. Um, but you want to do it facing. I don't think it really matters, to be honest. Um, on the model that I've got, it's facing that way, so towards the middle. However, you can do it either way. It really isn't that major of a thing. So just like that. And once you've done this, you can get rid of this and we can move on to layer number two. So let's go. So layer number two. Uh, so keep the same kind of stuff we had last time, but we're gonna add polished diorite, um, which we, we did use temporarily. Quartz stairs, red nether brick stairs, quartz slab, red nether brick slab. We've got the two trapdoors, same again, stone and chiseled stone bricks. <laughs> I, saw, I said it right that time um, for once. We're going to do an extra polished diorite just here um, and another one there to make like a little, a little pit, I suppose, in the middle. Uh, so that's four in total so far. Add an extra one, extra two. Take the quartz slabs, one and two. 
and then three iron trap doors in front and that's basically going up to the nose there one two three iron trap doors here three here as well and then this is going to be the quartz stairs just two facing outwards get the iron trap door two more and two here and then once more with the quartz stairs one and two so that's just rounding off that uh, nose section there take the stone block skip one here and do one two and three and then the stone bricks and then take the stone brick wall um, and that's going to go just one here but one there as well take the iron bars one and two one and two and then take a stone bricks there and that's just going to go here curving upwards like so take the red nether brick slab that's going to go here top half one and two this is a normal red nether brick stair facing backwards so it's not upside down that time and then this is one and two upside down stairs facing towards each other like that so again one and two that gap there's fine get rid of these three that one and that one and that one and you can see this is where we're at so far making good progress we can clearly see the shape is um, coming along nicely already uh, the final thing is just another crimson trap door just there and another one here as well and that is going to do it for layer number two so let's move on to layer number three okay next layer up you'll need uh, pretty much the same materials i've got rid of the uh, quartz slab added in the polished andesite and snow layers as well because we do uh, need quite a lot of uh, snow layers on this one so start off here around these two things off and um, so it should make like a, a small wheel shape almost this is going to be a upside down stair just like that and another one there as well you should get this shape this is going to be a red nether brick slab and then also another crimson trap door uh, so that rounds that off nicely uh, also on top you can add another one um, facing that way just there like that so you should end up with this shape overall that saves us doing it next layer I suppose uh, from there take your stone block and we're gonna do one two three and four this is gonna be a dark oak trap door put that there flip it get the stone back one and two get stone brick wall now I'm gonna replace um, and yeah, we kind of need everything actually no we don't need the polished iron right one two three and four there like that with a iron bars here iron bars here take the polished and the site one two and three and then with the red nether brick stairs this is going to be uh, one two three and a corner one just there like that take the crimson trap door again that's going to go here one and two and add a uh, normal red nether brick stairs there facing the other way so it should end up like this quartz stairs here one and two and then this is going to be one two and three snow layers all right next up red nether brick slab one and two and then another one and then again snow layers one two and three one two and three this is going to be one two three here then two 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 one 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 so you should end up with this hopefully which is the uh, the shape for the nose and once you've done that that's literally going to be it for layer number three so let's move on to layer number four okay for this layer um red nether bricks full block the stone bricks, the black stained glass, polished black stained slab, iron bars, lever, and black banner. We pretty much finish off the main body here. We just have to add the sort of guards on top, and um, whatever they are, I'm not sure. Um, and then we move on to the wings, and then that's it. It's not too bad. This is going to be another one of those stone bricks here, and then with the red nether bricks, one, two, and three. One of the material I just forgot to add was the red nether brick stairs, just there like that. So three full blocks stairs two black stained glass and this is a uh, polished black stained slab and black banners on both sides take a lever you're going to put that just here and here as well that's going to connect to the, the guards on top 
lever goes here, flip that one down, one here, flip that one down as well. This is going to be an iron bar here and on this side. And that is going to do it for the main body. So what we'll do now is just do the guards on top. That's going to be the next layer. And then we'll move on to the wings. Let's do that. Okay, the four materials you're going to need for this bit are stained brick stairs, smooth stain slab, iron trap door, and light grey carpet. I'm going to start off by putting a stained brick stairs upside down there. And one here as well. This is going to be a top half smooth stone slab on either side. And then on the back of it, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then do three bottom half slabs just there. And three bottom half slabs here as well. Okay. Take light grey carpet, one and two. And then iron trap door, one, two, one, two. And then that's going to do it for the guards. So after that, what we're going to do now is the wings, and then we'll be done. So let's go. So for the wings, you'll need red nether bricks, uh, crimson button, end rod, lever, stem brick stairs, stem brick wall, andesite wall, iron bars, and skeleton skull. Start off with a red nether bricks one and two. This is on the front top of the sort of circle shape we made. Ideally, it would be in the middle, but again, just wouldn't work at this scale. It does it five to one, but that model isn't ready yet. So whatever. And then there's going to be a button on each side. The end rod goes on the front, like I said. This is going to be a uh, stem brick stairs just there, like so, facing backwards. And another one is going to go, and uh, let's see if I can do it. There we go. Put a lever here and a lever here as well. And that's going to connect the bottom wing when we uh, eventually do it. So we're going to start with the top wing, I suppose. Well, let's just do them in a weird order. Um, so three stem brick walls go there like so. And three here as well. Do a one on top in the middle. And again, take the underside wall. This is going to be one, two, three, and then one on top. One, two, three, one on top. Take the skeleton skull. That's going to go just here to add a tiny little bit extra height. Um, as you can see, it's the exact same width and, and uh, shape, I guess, <laughs> is the wall. So it kind of blends in. Um, I forgot they were on there, to be honest. Uh, take the iron bars. That's going to be one here and one there as well. One and one. And that's the top wings done. Very, very simple. And the bottom ones are just as simple, really. This is going to be stem brick wall, one and two. One and two. And the side one on the front. Uh, go down one, two, and three with the andesite ones. One, two, and three. Do another stone brick wall in the middle. And then also do an extra andesite wall here and here. Stone brick walls again. One and two. One and two. Take the iron bars, and this is going to go one, one there, one, one there, and then one and two on the bottom, one and two on the bottom. And that completes it. That is literally everything. Um, the one thing I, I could suggest is to put an astromech head here. Just with the way that scaling worked out, um, I couldn't manage to fit one. Like a, a two to one astromech head. You could definitely add a one to one scale astromech head. One of uh, one of these ones over here, like that on the uh, one to one V-wing. Um, let's let's show you what that would look like. It's not ideal um like i said it's just the way that the the shaping worked out um yeah you can always add it i suppose but yeah i don't think it looks large enough but whatever oh well it's fine so that is the two to one viewing let's give you a quick uh, post build showcase with the shaders on it's probably going to be really bright because it's a mostly white build Oh, actually no. I think it's it's uh, morning time, so it's not too bright. So yes, there you are. That is the two to one V Wing version two. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Stay safe, stay well, and goodbye. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.